What is going on guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I am bringing you a great comparison between the Titman TMC and the Titman Stormer Elite. Compare them. I need to know. All right, guys, so I'm doing this review of these, these tactical woods ball guns because a lot of you out there wanted to see the difference between the two. Let me first start off by saying price points. You've got the Tipman TMC retailing right around 250 bucks, and then you've got the Tipman Stormer Elite retailing right around $175. So you got a you know $75 difference right there, and you guys probably want to know why. Let's first off start. Should I go back and forth, Mark, or should I just kind of hit one gun and go to the other, or just compare the features? Oh, uh, I like back and forth because okay. it keeps the people's mind like focused on the barrel or on the stock Sounds or good. whatever it is. So first, first things first. Let's talk about like I said, two hundred and fifty bucks for the TMC, one seventy five for the Stormer Elite. Why is that? First off, the TMC does have an aluminum or a magnesium receiver, so this is all metal. There's no plastic. The Stormer Elite, with that, has a composite body. So there's a big price difference. You're using actual metal here on the TMC compared to the composite body on the Stormer Elite. Um, what I do like about the Stormer Elite, which is at the cheaper price point, is the front shroud. First off, you've got a grip that comes right on the Picatinny rail right here on the front shroud. Is it better from your top view if I hold it like that, Mark? Or yes, sir. doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. So you got a grip on your front shroud. Obviously, it's composite. Talking about the front shroud, the actual front sight does flip down, and you can press a button, and it'll pop back up for you. As compared to the TMC, it does have a front sight, but it doesn't have the flip down and pop back up feature. Second thing on the Stormer Elite, right here on the side front shroud, press the button, and the entire shroud comes right off the gun. If you want to have easy access to the barrel or if you took a bad shot and you need to clean out any pieces of the front shroud there's that compared to the tmc mark where you have to undo that screw right there and then you'll be able to take the shroud off the front of the gun so it doesn't have an easy um push button removal system like the stormer elite does who cleans so, their gear who cleans their gear any <laughs> player that actually cares about maintaining their equipment so let's talk about next. I want to talk about mag releases. So both of these do come with 20 round um, magazines. Both of these guns can do hopper fed and mag fed, which is very nice. You can switch in between the two. Right now, this one's ready for mag fed. If you wanted to use a hopper on the TMC, you just simply undo the screw, your side plate comes off, and then you can put on the hopper attachment that comes in the box with the gun. The magazine release here, there is a push button, push it there, your magazine comes out. So once again, push button here, magazine will come out of the gun. And then on the Stormer Elite, you also have the easy push button mag release as well. Are the magazines interchangeable? Um, you know what? I believe they are actually. So let's, that's a good question, Mark. I like that. You got a little, you got a little. Bonus. Bonus, let's see. Yes, sir. Oh. Definitely. So definitely the mags are interchangeable. We're going to set those off to the side. Uh, let's talk about ASAs now, Mark. As you can see, both of these are gas through grip right into the valve system. So either or the Stormer Elite or the TMC, your system, when you screw your air tank on back here in the ASA, is going to come up through the grip and into the gun. Same, you know, both the same. So I like that. It's a very nice feature. Speaking of that, let's flip these bad boys over. You get a nice top-down view. If you guys want safety on the TMC, it has a selector style switch there. Fire and safe. For the Stormer Elite, which obviously is $75 cheaper, you just have your standard safety push from one side, push from the other. There's no fancy selector style switch. Let's talk about how do you engage the guns next. There's a lot of features I'm kind of Jumping all around, but trying to stay, with, stay within the same general area. How you engage the gun, get it ready to fire. Cock back, lock the hammer in place. You're ready to fire. On the TMC, it actually has the charging handle in the back. That's actually how you load the paintballs and get ready to fire. So charging handle in the back here. And just your standard pullback 
hammer on the side of the gun on the Stormer Elite. All right, so let's talk about this one's, let's see, barrel systems. I know the TMC has a 12 inch, I believe, um, high performance barrel with like a muzzle brake. So the TMC here has the muzzle brake, it's a 12 inch. I also believe this barrel is a 12 inch as well. No, maybe a 10 inch, but it doesn't have any fancy porting, it doesn't have a muzzle brake, anything like that. So once again, on the cheaper model of the Stormer Elite. You're not getting the fancy uh, barrel muzzle brake and I think you're about two inches shy of the length of the TMC. Let me just, you know what, I wanna confirm that before I give out any false facts, Mark. Just looking, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a shorter barrel on the Stormer Elite, no doubt about it. So Mark, do you think there's any features um, that I haven't gone over what that about the shoulder stocks? Are yes, oh yes, 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 yes. See, there's so many, there's a lot going on with these guns. Shoulder stocks. The um, TMC has a five point position shoulder stock here. So you've got five different positions on your shoulder. If you're a shorter guy, or if you've got longer arms like myself, you can extend it out to the fifth position and have a better hold on the gun. With the Stormer Elite, it's actually a six position stock. So you get one more position if you're kind of in between and then Maybe you're not in an awkward stage, but six position stock on the Stormer Elite, five position on the Tipman TMC. I went over internal gas lines, I went over the safety selector switch. How to engage the gun, the stocks, the mags, they're both, like I said, they can use hopper or mag fed. I went over the barrel systems, the front shrouds, both of them have um, the Picatinny rails. I would say the TMC with this AR-15 style shroud does have more Picatinny rail options for you. So that's a plus in my book. I just, I kind of do like how this front sight on the Elite folds down and you can pop it back up. So if you want to use the sight, you can. If you want to lay the sight down, you can also do that as well. So, do either of these have an electronic upgrade kit or nope. anything of those nature? Not unless it was like an at-home mod you did yourself. I okay. personally don't think Tipman sells any sort of electronic mods for these guns. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick comparison because you guys asked for it. What's the difference between the TMC and the Stormer Elite? There's the differences. Hope you like it. Don't forget LoneWolfPaintball.com. For all the paintball needs, we sell these guns on there. Head on, head on over to the Jerky Den for some of the best lean protein in the game. And right, Mark? I think I covered... I think so. I mean, uh, internal-wise... Same internals. Same internals. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. You're just using a composite body on the Storm Elite versus the all uh, magnesium receiver on the TMC. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Put in the comments below if I missed anything. Um, put in the comments below also which one you would prefer if you own one or the other. How do you like it? What are your thoughts? The grips look a little different. You got the individual. Yeah, fingers. this one. This one's an individual molded. So these grips actually can come off. And these are just all part of the body on the Stormer Elite, so. All right. Yep. Uh, and before we go, we've got a question from the YouTubes. Go ahead. Uh, Batlin wants to know, uh, can a Cronus use the 98 electronic trigger? Because ain't it basically nope. the same gun? No, the Cronus cannot use that. The Cronus is all, like, molded together as one, uh, one piece. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure the Cronus cannot use the electronic grip from the 98 custom there you go so, if you guys got it. a question leave it in the comments below and maybe we'll pick you randomly that's right don't forget lonewolfpaintball.com hit the online store we carry the best latest and greatest products on the entire paintball market thanks for watching see ya yay